Selamat datang, welcome back to Indonesia in Jakarta for another edition of Indo Defense. Once again, there's a lot of naval defense innovation on display on the show floor from both international and local industries. Let's check some of them out. The highlight of the show this year at Indo Defense in terms of naval product is the Omega. It is the new frigate designed by Damon from the Netherlands, displacing 6,000 tons. Uh, Damon introduces its view on the future of large and high-end uh, combatants. Well, our main goal is to show the uh, Indonesian Navy and the Indonesian, uh, Indonesian Ministry of Defense that we are absolutely ready and, and, and are already preparing for their future need for larger uh, combatants after, of course, the PKR 3 and 4, which we are in full uh, preparation for as well. Combat system-wise and, and operationally uh, for a warship, we have really put a lot of effort and uh, attention to the uh, spatial separation and redundancy of systems. That is why, of course, the platform becomes uh, quite a lot bigger than what we uh, have built over here for the Indonesian Navy uh, in the past. Um, and well, platform-wise, we really want to uh, include all the innovations that are going on right now on the international market of our uh, suppliers. Uh, so the, the many and automation concepts that are being developed right now, um, hybrid propulsion systems, for example, high efficiency in that propulsion system, uh, the modularity of systems, uh, the possibility to deploy not only large ribs but also unmanned uh, surface or underwater vehicles for example and of course the, the space and weight and power reservation for future developments going on right now but also in the near future. Bob, on the scale model of uh, Omega you are showing some uh, ISO containers, for which reason? Well, these uh, ISO containers, they are really there to indicate that we have taken the modularity of systems and the ability to, to deploy these uh, new modular systems uh, very seriously in our design. So we have two at the top deck to show that there is space for modular equipment right there, but also in the midship mission bay there will be space for uh, quite a number of containers, at least four uh, plus uh, two ribs, 12 meter is the size that we are thinking of right now including, as I said, the deployment systems for that, so they can be used either as davits for the ribs, but also to take up uh, modular equipment from the key side. And then, of course, in the off-ship, we have the second uh, multi-mission bay with a slipway for an, uh, a third rib, uh, and also space for additional containers. We are thinking of uh, two at least. So in total, we, have, uh, we are confident that we can take up uh, eight uh, TEU containers, but we are even trying to get in, in some more because we see, of course, that the trend is that the, the flexibility of operations is very, very important uh, in uh, developing systems. Well, I'm participating in Indo Defense uh, for promoting our submarine technology. And recently, we opened a technology transfer center at Petepal Shibyat in Surabaya, Indonesia. So I expect that we could contract for further three new submarines within this year. At the moment, uh, they want 209 class, but our new version is 1,400. Uh, class submarine. Uh, the day before yesterday, we had uh, 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 agreement with Petepal Shibyat for the further development. Then I expect, uh, as I told you, uh, the new contract with the Indonesian government will be held within this year. Number one and number two submarine were delivered safely and without any uh, problem to Indonesian Navy. And the third one, 
is almost done. Uh, we are waiting for the launching ceremony. This model is called the KSS-3 submarine, which was uh, recently launched uh, in September this year for Korean Navy, ROK Navy. And after launching, I think it will take uh, nearly two years for the final delivery. So we have a target to deliver the KSS-3 types of marine uh, on around December 2020. The length is about 81, uh, 83 meters. Ton is the 3,000 ton class. What we see here is our uh, latest uh, trimaran design, um, utilizing stealth technology as far as possible. And um, as um, we may know that this ha we had an accident a couple of years ago and we are now in a good progress rebuilding it with some improvements. And we are hopefully having this ready mid next year for launch. And uh, we are continuously working on upgrades on systems together with the customer. And we're making good progress for the moment. So uh, the good thing with the trim around design is, of course, the stability. We can have very high mounted sensors, which means we can put radar and things very high up without losing stability. And the other thing is, of course, it's a wave piercing design, which also means improved sea keeping for boats in this size. So it actually can perform jobs that a normally much larger vessel would do. So we see a lot of advantages using trimaran design, high tech carbon fiber composites in a combination. So hopefully make something for this region unique. And uh, of course, we are working on new orders and also to develop uh, military systems, CMS systems for this for the future. So we work with different suppliers and different solutions for the moment. The good thing with the trimaran design is of course the stability. We can have very high mounted sensors, which means we can put radar and things very high up without losing stability. And the other thing is of course it's a wave piercing design, which also means improved sea keeping for boats in this size. So it actually can perform jobs that a normally much larger vessel would do. This is a surveillance drone for starting and landing from a boat. And the advantage of this one is the speed and therefore also the range compared to a rotary wing aircraft. When taking off from a catapult, the hatches here are closed and the turbine is in this position. Catapulting off, flying its mission and coming back to land, the hatches are lost and the turbine is tilted like this and it hovers down. The range is about 50 kilometers one way and you can fly plus 350 kilometers an hour. What is this uh, new design? Uh, this is, uh, we call it a uh, tanker with the capability of RAS, refuel at sea. And this is for Navy. We launched uh, last month, but uh, delivery maybe in April 2019. What are some of the characteristics of the ship? Okay, this, is, uh, this ship is about 120, 123 meters length. Uh, 60, 16 meter width and uh, depth is about 9 meter with speed 18 knots they can carry about 5,000 uh, 5,000 ton of uh, fuel and we also have the capability to bring some uh, uh, solid like ammunition or uh, medic and food so we can transfer also in the sea during the ship voyage. Uh, will it be able to refuel the PKR frigates for example? Yes, they will be refueled for all the PKR, for the LPD, for the uh, offshore patrol and all these things. So they, in the, in the uh, foyers together, there will be a possibility they can refuel at the left and the side of the port side and the port side of the vessel. And what is the name of the ship? The ship is already named uh, Bontang, 
is Kairi Bontang, one of the city, all the series of the tankers in the Navy, they put uh, all the city with uh, produce, we produce oil in Indonesia. And how many will you build for Indonesian Navy? Just one for now or more in the future? Uh, at the moment, we only have uh, one. And the future, they, they might need up to six units. Thank you very much. Thank you. Actually, this is not submarine, okay? Uh, because uh, the people who is inside an operation is uh, uh, already equipped as a diver. So this can we can be called as a, a diver vehicle. Yeah. Uh, this KTBA is designed for operation in the underwater, approximately, and uh, it brings two divers and about 100 kg payload. Yeah for a certain mission. Uh, about the operation, this vehicle approximately operate in minus 30 underwater and also uh, during approximately also three hours in operation. And the cruising speed is about three until four knots, yeah? And the maximum speed should be six knots. Yeah. In fact, this is the, our first vehicle, yeah? Uh, already requested by an user to develop this kind of vehicle for uh, helping two people and certain payload to do the operation. In fact, this uh, vehicle requested as uh, from the special forces in the Navy, yeah, and they worked together with us to uh, to be more exact in the requirements yeah. about the static and dynamic and. Uh, Movement of the vehicle, we are in the testing, yeah. And in the certain period, I think in the near future, we will face the certification of this vehicle.